Hey, hi, hey, it's been a bit, but we're back once more with our guys, Ariel. Especially back with uh, giving March a bit more training. <laughs> this is still not done with that event yet, and I kind of want to go through that. Other than that, we also still have like the companion mission of Unly. I'm not sure if we will get to it today at all. Depending on, it depends on how long this will take. And I can't. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can guess how much longer this might take, so. Yeah. Let me stay here a little longer in this body. So, yeah, let's continue with the sword training. We got a little bit more to do here. Dexterity, uh, decrease will some when on excursion. Okay. Wait, I can. I can pick one this time around. Then I'm gonna go with the dexterity. Uh, head up, head up. And. Let's go for another city store. I bet we're gonna boost a bit more, our, more strength, I guess. Yeah, a bit more dexterity would also be nice, so we can get this one. I don't do like this sort of. How should I go about this? Uh, uh. I learned so much today. Well done, me. Wonder what I'll run into today. Well, that's capade. Okay, the Tendros Commission has seen the way the uh, bus. Who is always eager to institute them? Um, it won't be harming um, anyone anymore. The war dance participants who fell to its antics are also slowly covering the senses. This is all thanks to you and Tamo that this mini hero by wars has been quelled. Thanks to you too, ho ho. No wonder you're a Ten Lords Commission judge. It's something you wish to say last time. I suppose when Mr. Tail said uh, the memories of Swordplay practice could be turned into me. I have to admit it, I was a teensy bit tempted. Just a teeny bit. My dear is pretty decent, eh? I wanted to have Mr. Tails help me out then to at least learn a move or two, but I was too embarrassed to admit it. Um, mm, also rejected industrial learning. I was too busy to let you have your way. You can be freestyle to Mr. March Severin with little power. Far suppresses ordinary people. <laughs> wow. If I had run into the Helio us, I wouldn't have understood the sheer distance between my knowledge and the mastery of swordplay. That's not a shortcut to learn swordplay at all. I very much agree with Mitch Mars 7 on this. Though I've heard of a much wilder and safer method that a garden's messenger have that can draw from non-existent swordplay memories into your mind, in that case would you still refuse? Hmm. You might still have to decline. I think that I have to put my own thoughts into it and experience it myself to eventually turn Master Yan Ching's sword blade and Master Yun Li's sword into Master Seven's sword. Well, swords proficiency is fighting with like two. You got a good point there, girlie. In my journey was nothing more than a copy and paste process. I had never been able to surpass the two masters. So it's quite the epiphany. For me to do waxing philosophical pearls of wisdom, that should mean I've attained new heights with my sword play, am I right? Spawning passages from a self-help book makes you all enlightened now. I really think you all that you should be training even harder on your sword play. I've got a book of flea triumph after attending to this matter, Miss March 7. If you need help taking on Scott, come see me in time. Mr. Tay and I will definitely help you out. Sure, thanks so, all, Mr. Tay. Great. Mm -hmm. 
increase the mood consumption rate of efficiency and take for the first time. Ooh, I'm gonna take this. Learn that? I yep, guess it I is, am pretty awesome. Ooh, uh. Yeah, I'm just going to do the take the penalty. March a dull girl, you know. Because it's going to be refreshed next time anyway. Oh, that's enough right. training for today. I need time. Sweet. Before we start the test, there's something I need to tell you, Miss March. I've received a challenge letter from Scott. Okay, we already get the challenge to this, but he opens He's made thorough preparations, contacting the Realm Keeping Commission and getting approval for a martial arts exchange event. He even chose Arumali as the venue. Seems like he has some connections there. However, according to the rules, the person receiving the challenge letter has the right to decline the challenge. But declining would be like admitting defeat. Of course I'll accept it. But before that, you need to pass the final test. The graduation exam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's already graduating. Uh, I'm surprised too. Well, it's not really graduation. It's just that the opponent for this exam is your master, Yen Qing. When General Jing Yuan was teaching me swordplay, he used to personally spar with me during crucial moments to assess my skills. After all, the master should be the one who is most aware of their students' strengths and weaknesses. But, Master Yan Ching, facing you in a duel, do I really stand a chance? Maybe. How will we ever find out if you don't even try? Are you only scared because I'm your opponent, Miss March? Unsheath your swords and get ready, Miss March. The duel starts now. The final test. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, come on, March 7th. You got this. I mean, you're on the same level at least, but I can't get any more bonuses, right? Oh, do I need a bit more tenacity here? Yeah, and I can't get this yet. Sadly. I also would might be smart to also push tenacity a bit more after that. How's she doing with the soul formation, I wonder? She's... Okay. Not just ignoring us. Be close. Sword, heed me. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Punish evil. Dragon, white tiger, less card, what? 
I failed. Okay, she actually managed this. Interestingly. <clears throat> Not bad. You've made it this far, Miss March. You've passed the exam. Oh. Uh, yeah, you can get a I told you compliments make me better. <laughs> With your sword blade skills, you can effortlessly take down IPC Max, March. Yeah. I'm pretty confident too. But looking back, haven't you learned something more important than just swordplay? Yeah. I've not only learned swordplay from masters, but I've also met a bunch of people and gained a lot of insights from my experiences. Those experiences will nourish your sword skills. It's just like Master Yun Li said everything can be a sword. And there are endless possibilities for learning swordplay in the vast world. That actually makes sense. Now, I'd love to hear your suggestions on how to defeat Scott. Well, we can do like story worlds? Fair square. Yeah, I'll show Scott the power of the Sienjo swordplay that he despises. I remember Yen Qing once said, There are many ways to defeat villains. But if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. Do you feel any closer to becoming the great hero you've always dreamed of? Ah, oh, yes, absolutely! The great hero within me is definitely up to the task. Okay, can we continue with the practice dummy? No. Okay, we can't. Uh, can just teleport here, right? Yes. Well, well. If it isn't our hero, March 7. Hmm. I'm not hiding or backing down. You challenged me, and I'm here to accept it. But I'm curious, why pick Arum Alley of all places? It's packed with tourists around, and it'd be bad if someone got hurt. Why Arum Alley? Well, your buddy knows the answer to that. Well, you already got ashamed here once. I can't deny it. That fateful day left a mark on me. <laughs> That's why I chose this place. I want to show all those people who laughed at me that I can stand on my own two feet again. They'll be like, what? That Scott is back again? What's he got up to this time? Most of them don't even They'll care. That I, Scott, who was once shamed in front of everyone, is back in our room alley to restore his honor. They'll see that it won't be me squealing like a pig today. But you <sighs> Right, person? No. I want to enact revenge on the entirety of our room alley. But then wait, where does bullying the owner of the sleepless earl fit in with all of this? Ah! Oh, shut up! Look, I have my principles. I refuse to spend my life haunted by what happened in our room alley. Do you think I'm just some sort of IPC small fry? You are. I've been patient for so long, just waiting for the right moment. I don't care about proving my greatness. It's about showing everyone in our room alley that I will reclaim what was taken from me. Hmm. Yeah, you should take bigger things. Instead you know, of resorting to such despicable methods. <sighs> I've been keeping an eye on you. Seriously, do you really believe that you, a rookie who's only been learning swordplay for 15 days, can defeat my invincible mechs? Dream on! Enough with the talk. 
Let's get down to business, boys. Huh. Once you bite the dust, you'll know what I'm capable of. Hmm. He's taking a lot of damage already. And I do not like that. But she's not doing a lot of damage, so... Squeal. Scrap metal, huh? The key to victory is never the weapon. It's the person wielding it. Um. <clears throat> right. I bet you're quite familiar with them too. Enough. Fine. I've done this before anyway. I. Apologize. Good boy. I want to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. It's my fault for causing trouble and making a scene on purpose. Hey, remember what you said? What about squealing like a pig? Make him squeal! Make him squeal! <laughs> uh, hold on a sec. all over again all right but before i squeal like a pig there's something else i want to say ipc mechs are a total joke oink 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 come on oink. put more effort in oink <laughs> Okay, guess we're ending joining you. This is growing up to a sort of fight as well as you learned. Boy, that's like. Okay, there's like five endings to this. Master Yen Ching, Master Yun Li, you're teaching rocks. Ugh, shame my body can't keep up with my brain. Ah, much of them can compete in a story through various sword art escapades, different scenario escapades, companion assists, sword art anecdotes, and even different ways to ultimately finish the story. Each time the story is completed through a sword art escapade, much of them will gain trial insight, which will enhance her stats when she starts a new round of training. 
how to complete a story through sorry with the final rerun feature for the specific escapade we unlock along here to quickly explore different story endings. Ah. Uh the book just for the forge. Let's go for the final rewind. Not bad. Oh. Let's get through that. With your yeah, but you can screw now, skip that. I'd love to hear. Let's do this one. <laughs> Let's do it. I already have an idea. I remember Yen Ching once said. There are many ways to defeat villains, but if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. Do you feel any closer to becoming the great hero this you've always wanted? Yes, absolutely. Ah, talk to Ho Ho. You two, we heard that Scott sent you a challenge, so we were wondering if there's anything we can do to help you defeat him. Oh, thanks, Wahwa. You've already been a huge help by teaching me how to use the exercising tools. Even though I've only been learning swordplay for a short time, I'm confident I can take down the IPC next. Uh, don't mention it. It's actually me who should be thanking you, March. But seriously, didn't he kick Scott's butt already? So why is he back again? Don't humans ever learn from their mistakes? Scott doesn't, yeah. No, no, Mr. Tail. There's a saying, revenge is a dish best served cold. But Scott hardly has any patience. He couldn't resist the temptation to get back at us. Still, if that's how I beat him, it'd be a little less satisfying. Mm. Hmm, actually, I have no idea. I get it. Some people never learn, no matter how many times you knock them down. They'll never admit defeat or learn anything. So, uh, how do we get him to admit defeat? Let's go ahead. What else you I'm not trying to rag on you. But you're always playing into Scott's hands with your approach. He set up these rules for a fight between his mechs and your sword. And you agreed. Then he laid out what to do if you win or lose. And you agreed again. It's basically just another one of Scott's organized sports events. And it's not even fun if you win. Hmm. Hey, cut it out, kid. Just leave the cool catchphrases to me. <laughs> I'm a Heliobus, and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Just remove my seal, Wawa. Mm. <laughs> Just possessing him won't be enough. I'm gonna get inside his head. Oh, well, really like this. See. I'll make Scott change his mind and admit defeat wholeheartedly. What do you say? Oh, you're awesome, Mr. Tail. What? Well, well, if it isn't our hero, March 7th. I'm not hiding or backing down. You challenged me, and I'm here to accept it. We're here to fight. What's wrong with you people? Sending me a threatening letter? Who are you trying to scare? A threatening letter? What are you even talking about? <laughs> oh, stop playing dumb. Can you slip this into my pocket? Uh, Mr. Scott... A great center of arrogance and insolence. You have inflicted your <laughs> twisted lust for power upon that innocent shop owner and insulted the extraordinary art of Sienjo swordplay. This is a Persona 5 calling card. Yes, I like this. Such a cool reference. 
We have decided to make you confess all your crimes in person. The time for change is now. Your twisted desires will be stripped away by us? The writing is terrible. I wouldn't have understood it if you hadn't just read it to me. What the heck did you just say? <laughs> hey, who said that? Is there really a person of five calling card? No one said anything. You must have imagined it. Well, enough for chit chat. March 7th, I'm going to make you bark. I didn't even see her draw her sword. Time seemed to freeze, and all I saw was a flash of green fire. In an instant, I remembered staring out at the sea as a child, glimpsing a faint green light through the thick fog, which turned out to be the home of that girl, Rakshmi. Seriously, who lights a green lantern in their house? Those guys must be nuts. The fuck? Ah, why am I suddenly remembering these things? Is my life flashing before my eyes? Am I dead? Be sure, you're annoying as hell. Hmm. Looks like this is Scott's mind. I'd better find where his most twisted desires are lurking. This it really is like uh, like a Persona Five Forever, because there you also like going after like the palace's ruler's desires. Scott, get your butt over here. Uh, this guy looks just like his old man. Humans spent decades trying to heal their childhood traumas, and Scott might be no different. <sighs> What's with all the yelling on the weekend, Dad? We're sleepy. Sleeping? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? Do credits sleep? Does the free market sleep? Does the invisible hand sleep? I forget it. We'll discuss this later. Okay. Pafana's parents came by earlier. They heard about Pafana breaking his leg while playing Sky Dart, and they found out that you carried him to the hospital. So they decided to visit the father of their son's best friend. So, Scott was kind hearted as a kid. You idiot! Aren't you and Pafana competing for the captain position on the Sky Dark team? Why are you befriending your own rival? And you even carried him to the hospital? <laughs> You're such a caring guy, aren't you? Okay, I already hate uh, already hate this dead more than Scott. How many times have I told you that our Scott family crest is the lone wolf? And our family motto is no enemies, no friends, only prey. Would you carry your prey to the hospital? That would be such a boring and sad way to live, not gonna lie. Well, little Scott was pretty unfortunate to be born into such a family. But, Dad, I broke his leg on purpose. If I hadn't taken him to the hospital, others would have suspected me. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Oh. So okay, now that's I hit how it is. Equally. Oh, I'm so sorry, Scott. I shouldn't have scolded you. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> it's okay, Dad, because you're the best. I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It seems his most twisted desires aren't here. Mm -hmm. Are we here? Scott Sr., you're suspected of accepting a huge bribe. Now come with us. Ah, the old guy got caught! <laughs> Oh, I knew this day would eventually come. <laughs> I only have one question, Captain. <laughs> Who sold me out? An internal tip-off. We're not allowed to disclose any details. An internal tip-off? <sighs> Most of those involved have neither the motive nor the evidence. Who could it be? 
It was me, Dad. I turned you in. You? Scott? You're the one who turned me in? Oh, man! This guy is heartless! The old guy looks like he's about to cry! <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so proud of you. Why? Wow. This is stupid. Dad. Use me as a stepping stone to reach greater heights. Lyndon Scott, you are the pride of the Scott family. A true lone wolf. And your dad is so proud of you. I'll do as you've taught me, father. Jeez, oh, this guy is simply hopeless. His most twisted desires aren't here at all. Also, didn't he like go against his like own like lone wolf mantra, or just like by uh, having even a child to begin with? Hey, Scott, my best buddy. I'm getting transferred to the Tartarian. Let's grab a drink after work. This guy actually has friends. <sighs> Maybe I can find something here that'll make him change his ways. The Tartarian? That's the frontier fortification vessel, isn't it? You haven't slipped up at work lately, have you? <laughs> so it was you who meddled and got me transferred, right? Uh, no one else on our team has the skill to pull something like this off. <laughs> Come on! Why am I not surprised at all? <laughs> it couldn't be helped. Your position was so desirable, I had to make a move. It's not just about the position, is it? There's also Rakshmi. <laughs> no one will ever compete with you for her again. Rakshmi? Glimpsing a faint green light through the thick fog. Could it be that Raxmi is the love of Scott's life? Please, promise me that you'll treat her well. <sighs> of course, Ashavat. Go to the Tartarian without worries. I'll take care of her while you're away. <sighs> Seems like his most twisted desires are not here either. Hmm. I don't think that Raxmi will be... But yeah. Not Tomatron, of course. How long have we known each other, Scott? Around seven or eight years. Why? We've been working together for so long, and... I just realized our hometowns are so close to each other. <laughs> talk about a coincidence. Yeah, we never get a chance to talk about this stuff at the office. Oh, I didn't realize Scott was actually a scumbag with a pure heart. All these years, there's something I've been keeping to myself. Too afraid to tell you. You like me, don't you? But why are you being so blunt? Oh, well done, Scott. <laughs> I like your straightforward style. Yeah. I want to be your girlfriend, Scott. <laughs> gotcha, Scott. Ooh, I found your weakness. Uh, I wouldn't be so quick about that. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha off guard. Wait, what? what? I recorded everything. You know office romances are strictly forbidden in our department. Once I make this recording public, you'll never be able to compete with me for the specialist position. <laughs> what the? Well, <laughs> all right. That's exactly what I love about you, Scott. Get some help, Rakshmi. What the heck? I'll step aside for you. But when the day comes that I surpass you in the same manner, I hope you'll acknowledge my intentions. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm a lone wolf, remember? Oh, he's such a jerk! I 
I can't even understand Rakshmi's reaction, but okay. Is that a wolf? Wait. No, that must be Scott himself. The crown behind him must be his most twisted desire. Oh, finally, I found the depths of your hopeless soul. I'll strip away your twisted desires. Who are you? This is my place. How did you get in here? I can come and go as I please. Do I need your permission? <laughs> Let me tell you something. In your quest to reach the top, you've trampled over everything that's decent. It's all about success. I'm the pride of the Scott family, a certified lone wolf. I'll do whatever it takes to reach the pinnacle of life. But are you truly happy? You've sacrificed your family, your friends, and your love. All for those meaningless credits. Ask yourself, are you truly happy? Ah, uh, uh, am I happy? Am I truly happy? I... Oh, I'm so happy! I'm ecstatic! You couldn't even begin to imagine how happy I am! Uh... Sacrificing my emotions? Ha! Huh, what a joke! What good do my emotions do me? Can they turn into a delicious meal or a glass of wine? Can they pilot a starship? Or buy me a mansion? So, answer me this. Do you think anyone would pay credits for my emotions? No way! But I can trade my credits for emotions. With enough credits, I can make anyone my friend. <sighs> this man is truly hopeless. Maybe I need to try a different approach this time. But I'm not about to spend my hard-earned credits on something as pointless as emotions. I'm a lone wolf. A lone wolf from the Scott family. With no enemies or friends. Only prey. <laughs> Bring it on, Scott the Lone Wolf. I'll show you what I'm made of. Are you actually fighting us with such a... Oh, you're actually position. fighting with one old party. Let the show begin! That was intended. Until everything burns to ashes! Fight to there's more to life. Eternal. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Get them! Dreams do come true. This is more than battle. Set to the sea, go play! Value, I suppose. Yeah. Get them. Let's improvise. The mood is. Let the show begin. We're gonna be stunned. Firefly, take fight. To live! <laughs> Bye -bye. swung her sword, and something green entered your body. Then you froze and started muttering something. Are you okay? Hey! March 7th! What did you do to Specialist Scott? Me? I didn't do anything. Seriously. Mr. Tail, what... What did you do to Scott? <laughs> Come on, what are you thinking? I just stripped away his most twisted desire. Watch what's about to happen. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, Scott seems weird. Did you really make him change his ways, Mr. Tail? Well, this is my first time doing something like this, so I'm not sure how things will turn out. <laughs> Literally, person of five, for, like first person of five, palace moment. You've managed to make a guy like him turn over a new leaf. You're amazing, Mr. Tail. <laughs> I'm even more amazing than you think. Look, it's kicking in now. Oh. He's now howling and doing this just like Especially Scott. What's wrong with you? desires and now he's genuinely trying to become a lone wolf <laughs> mm. this is not really generally what you call changing ways what would but you I... call it then even a, a feral wolf is better than what he was right <laughs> I mean, I do like it. <laughs> Don't fight me, Specialist Scott! <laughs> Run for your life! Specialist Scott has gone insane! Sarah so busy workers take off immediately and scope your system on all fours. Aww, I thought Mr. Tail would possess me and teach me some super cool... Heliobus sword play. Nah, I told you I'm not really one for violence. <laughs> you said after you fought him in this round, but hey. The previous route was concluded. The seven march pursuit of the other sword play shall continue. Okay, I guess that was one interesting ending, I guess. Yeah, let's continue with the next one. Start with the good stuff. Compliments make me better, so remember to say lots of nice things. I was getting some good stuff. So wait. Da, 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 da. Are you only getting like three items out of this? I do we get out of free form? <sighs> Finally, some recognition for training my butt off. Good question. Yep, let's go on with the next one. Use energy stands to 70, raise the mood cap to 100, increase all energy and mixed training levels by one. Sweet. Okay, where do we start? Another step closer to star crazing. Go for Qwerty this time around, maybe. I just go with whatever uh, we get in the end, so. But the Qwerty seems fitting. Let's do this. Is 
it you, Shinjo? I didn't think I've ever seen you tasking your work, uh, taking your work seriously before. You seem to have misunderstood me. I have you know that I've always taken my job extremely serious. I just have to slack off for a few hours every now and then. Are you at the uh, Divination Commission to see the Master Diviner? Mm, you're here to see you, of course, I guess. To see me? Let me be clear, we're heavily chat, but if you come to me with work, out of the question. You really do understand me. But not planning on kicking back and drinking such horrible ability while you watch us the the venomous work ourselves to the bone, are you? Then we would make some ridiculous social media posts about us being just another day on the sea and showed off who or something, right? You've got a wrong idea, Miss Singshaw. I came to the Divination Commission repository in search of an ultimate saw technique. You looking for saw technique? I don't know what you mean. Right on the middle of the upcoming duel between myself and the IPC Pussy Party. I don't know uh, anything about sword fighting, but if it's a book you're after, it can be of some assistance. Counting on you, Jingjo. Hold on, you know the rules. The Master Demon has gone to the user Jianzhou to meet with the general Yao Yang face to face. However, she has already pre planned our daily workload for the entire next month thanks to her planning for every scenario. It wasn't bad enough, you know the Archimedes Commission's new Cauldron Master, don't you? As soon as she started her position, she waved her hand and ordered that the forbidden books confiscated from the disciple of Sanctus Sanctus Medicus will be brought to the Divination Commission repository for a sailing. Before I knew it, I was absolutely buried in work. I get feeling that all those jobs have something to do with the books. That's right, a smart little Miss March 7th has already figured it out, let's see. You've come to the Divination Commission in search of a book. And I am in the process of organizing books here. Isn't that just perfect? It's almost as if I'm getting free. I mean, we were the best partners in the cosmos ever seen. <laughs> Watch if you're looking for a new job. If I could make a visit or work for me, you two could be here on another cover visit to experience the daily life of the Divination Commission. Demo, let's go. We can ask another Diviner. Wait, of course I would not just take advantage of you two like that. I'm so sure that if you come and help me arrange these books, then you will be given permission to look at all the volumes kept in the Divination Commission. There, if you happen to come across a book recording a secret... Regard Recording secret saw techniques, that's a win for you as well. Well, when you put it like that, there's no time to waste. Wait, let's leave it here for now. It's time for me to finish work. But it doesn't matter if the Master Diviner is here or not, we cannot have rumors about a Divination Commission using exploited labor getting out. Next time, remember to find me during work hours. We have to leave the Divination Commission with a skip in a step. She was going to play the rest of the trade. Uh, let's come and check out the Divination Commission again another time. Alright. It reduces speed cuts and increases efficiency when training. I mean, yes. Another new move under my belt. I got 
gotta find time to try it out. The Illumination Commission repository holds many soul copies and fragmented records on cloud knives, martial arts techniques covering all sorts of topics. Much of the browser materials intended and after a long period of searching found something that could be of some use. Let me see, what have you found there? Look at this, demon binding blade technique. It looks like some of this book is missing, but it's clearly some kind of super powerful secret text. Take a look at what it says at the beginning of this demon binding blade technique. Does it say something like, if you wish to master this art, you must use a blade to take your own life? It does. What does it mean? It means that if you want to learn this school's on shit, you have to harm your own body. Otherwise, learning this type of sword skill will cause you harm. In other words, it's like work. As long as you are involved in it, it will harm your body. With such an evil art restore. According to Mr. Xian, it's very strong. What has a Cloud Knight saw technique got to do with Mr. Xian, a storyteller? Well, doesn't that mean it? Uh, well, doesn't that mean it is so dangerous that word of it has become legend? Now, what about this 99 Yang incantation? Oh, I've heard about that one. Just from the name, you can tell that this technique is the pinnacle of the Yang technique. Stealing it, quest to use an amazing muscle development. The height shoots to 8 feet, the waist also grows to 8 feet, and the arm circumf circumference does too. No one can withstand a single blow from such a powerful physique. Wouldn't it all. But 8 feet isn't it like massive? Especially for like uh, arm circumference, when it's like the same as your height and your feet. I don't think this would be good. Is so you still human after you master this? This is the martial arts. All that matters is subduing the enemy and taking a uh, victory. Who cares if you're still human shaved afterwards? Uh, natural air power techniques come with a cost. I've always wanted to ask who is it that sets these costs? The majority of the incomplete texts in the repository are failed examples of martial research development. Not only do they require combinations with forbidden potions like those found in the cyrus of Sanctus Medicus, some of them even require all sorts of dangerous weapons. Of course, the martial research of our ancestors was always making progress. Burger is not here. It is possible to master the 90 yang, uh, 99 yang incantation while still maintaining your human form. It's possible? I'd want to see what his master has to say. I've indeed discovered a fascinating method. Unfortunately, I do not have enough space left on this paper to, to fill it in. Mm, they were right in the, in the first place. What I can't. Uh, looks like finding a suitable ultimate sword technique for me is not going to be easy. It is clear to me that you wish to subdue your enemies and take victory, yet you are scared to take on the risk of mastering a martial art. If you ask me, I don't think you absolutely have to accept the risks. After all, most people only fight to win an argument. I don't think that requires a huge cost. The heroes of emerge stories always rely on only intense training and great skills to defeat their enemies, when then the stories end happily ever after. Since when was reality ever that simple? Is that not realistic? Vengeance, grievances, envy, shame. Humans have many complicated emotions. Do you really think uh, in the real world are as simple as I defeat you, you defeat me? If fighting could resolve everything, there would be nowhere near as many worries in the real world. Reality is so complicated. I don't know why after all. I also never believed that winning a battle means that the problem is solved. It's getting late. Let's leave it here for today. It's time to clock out. Good work for you two. Let's see if we can find someone to join us for a game of Jade. Ah, uh, looks like you made no brussels again. Let's have another look next time we are at the Divination Commission. 
Mirage pushes over 80 stats obtained from 20 are increased by 30. Ooh. During addition, we increase Today, I need time to absorb everything. Today, you'll face your first test. It's all about the basics. Oh, I know. It's right, I can just re skip it. Okay. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. I think you can go this I one. Really, just learn that. I guess I am pretty awesome after all. Yeah. Not very sportsmanlike. <laughs> Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this! <laughs> Sweet. What's up, that boost? Looks like I passed the test, right? And we also can skip that. So good. Hope it isn't a little sparrow's tool little assistance. What are you doing here, Master Lingsha? I previously learned from Chief Archimedes your lore that many forbidden texts were lost during the Ambrosia Arbor disaster, and it took a lot of work to recover them. The Alchemy Commission is not an organization that should be used to store forbidden texts, so I came to discuss with the Master Diviner. And then you saw it help with tasks became my job. I think I helped recover a few of these texts. I've heard you mention them before. I remember you were saying that some of them were quite dangerous and mysterious. They sound like the ultimate sword technique that we were talking about earlier. I'm not the kind to let others do all the work. I have caused you a lot of trouble, little sparrow. It may help you with the organizing. Well, thank you, Master Lingsha. If I'd known you were such a kind leader, I'd have chosen to go to the Alchemy Commission or the Divination Commission any day. Oh, I have to report it to the Master Diviner. <laughs> no, no, please don't. Let's just get these books sorted and we can all play a nice game of J together. As a group busy themselves and time passed out in the lead. There was a moment the group notes March 7 had been passed out in corner, blah 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 blah. It's going too fast. Um, as a group busy themselves and time passed suddenly the job of organizing a comic commission for the text neared its end. It was at this moment the group noticed that March 7th had been passed out in a corner of the repository so some time with a forbidden text opened by her side. 
I know Master Lecture, please take a look at what happened to Miss uh Miss March seventh. This girl must have accidentally opened one of the forbidden texts. Jing Shu you close the book up, and I will prepare the incense to bring her to her senses. I have the forbidden tasks now. Go and sit, Miss March up. She has slipped into an illusion caused by the forbidden text. You have to try to call her back with your voice. You lift the unconscious March Seraph to the seated position. Her lips are moving slightly, as if she's trying to say something. So you close your eyes and listen closely to hear what she is saying. Tell her more. I mean, play this now, my too. The play a demon remains here, alone. Actually, I shall have to you. Pass on for years. They pass like a dream. Before we know it, we pass on. <laughs> when you start spouting wisdom like that. Oh, later you manage to awaken March from the illusion with the help of Link Shah's awakening incense. I. I see you're finally awake, Miss March. I'm so sorry, I should not have been so careless and let you come into contact with such a dangerous objects. I'm fine, thank you all for your concern. The book was called a Solitary Shadow Sword Scroll. I can see why you could be curious, Miss March. In the book, I was a blade demon, and the blade demon was me. I once stabbed and wounded an honorable man in battle and could not escape my guilt. I both thirsted for more martial arts knowledge and fell trapped by my great sword skills. Finally, I sat meditating before the blade tomb before dying a tragic and miserable death. This seems like a long story for something that only took about half an hour. Although, when I got to the end of the book, it feels like the story is only half finished, so I was wondering if I could read it again. Miss March, this book is extremely dangerous. I understand. Miss March, please do not dwell on the book story for now. Head back home and just focus on getting an early night. The next time we come to the Venetian Commission, we can discuss it again, okay? Okay. Alright, once you are recovered, I will get to the bottom of this. Sword. Another step closer to star crazing glass great sword. Okay, let's keep getting acute yeast of. Strength training by eighty percent. What did I really just learn? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, let's just do it like this.
recommend. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, that's enough training for today. I need time to absorb everything. Time for your second test. And we can skip this one. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. Another new move under my belt. I gotta find time to try it out. Okay. The enemies are also a bit more boosted, I guess. Let's go hard on security then. I learned so much today. As much you can tell why this is what uh, you uh, can you tell me why it is that you want to read the solitary shadow scroll again? I originally just wanted to find a powerful sword technique and master an ultimate skill, but after I read the solitary shadow sword scroll, uh, how should I put it? I want to help him. I want to help the blade demon in the book. How do I help the blade demon? I don't know right now. Blade Demon made one mistake in his life, was split in two. The first half was a nobody, but he lived heavily. But in the second half, he had mastered earth shattering skills, yet was wrecked with anxiety and miserableness. It's quite a common story. He left his <coughs> He left his martial arts mastery in these pages waiting for a fated person to come along and pick it up. I just can't help but feel like he wants me to do something. So it is your intention to rescue the story that was left abandoned in the pages of a book, young lady? Interesting, what can assist you? But you must first tell me what it is that you intend to do, or I shall not agree. Much can change the destiny of the uh, book. Unfortunately, I'm just a reader, not the author. Why is it the Blade Demon was able to become such a master and yet never attained the satisfaction of a happy life? This much you remember the immersion stories that we talked about before, don't you? These stories are always a combination of blessing and tragedy, using happiness in a later life to make up for the misfortune that was experienced previously. It's like adding a positive to a negative to return to zero. I we all know that beliefs like this are just blind optimism. But things are real, and so is misfortune. That's right. Even if the Blade Demon was able to master an ultimate technique, that would not change the fact that he regrets it. In the past, I can be a bit of a philistine sometimes, though I sometimes long for the life of a hero. I always think to myself, maybe I'm more suited to a life that is fraught with danger and constantly survived by the skin of my teeth. 
Having the story of living complete yet unremarkable life is far more appealing to me than cutting someone's arm off and mustering a perfect sort of technique before the blade to him. Um, straight to the rain that wanted. I'm not already caring much about a side story, to be honest. I'm gonna start skipping for ODs. Also, my my voice and mouth is like is for some reason not that happy about having to read as much today. Let's go hard on strength, I guess. Let's do this. Some more dexterity, I guess. Uh, let's do like one excursion. We start the, oh, the Sorry. final test. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, come on, March seventh. You got this. Bam. Oh. No, we can do this. Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Anything more I can do? Uh, I trust Perry could not get us sad. But I guess we can like the most amount of heat we can get. Is there any progression in combination? Huh. Ah! This means it's actually lower. Interesting. Yeah, this is already going a lot better than when the first round. Come get me! Yeah, 
he's getting like a lot of extra damage. The hell. I'm just warm enough. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, what? I failed. <laughs> bye bye. Not bad. And you can skip now, that part. I'd love to hear your suggestion. I, I kind of expected that this would like be an option in every like story quest, and you'll get like a character specific outcome. <laughs> Let's do it. I, I remember Yen Chi. Do you feel any closer to? Ah, uh, yes. That's... So this will be like the new part. I'm going up against Scott soon. Do you know why I'm visiting you? Ching Chua? Yeah, with you, me, and him here, the answer is pretty obvious. Of course, we're ready to play Celestia Jade. Yeah, you just have pre fight jitters, March. Let's play a couple of rounds to help you relax. Uh, wait a minute. I've been playing with you a lot lately, right? I've actually picked up a few insights. For example, I've been thinking lately that just defeating Scott with my swords might not be enough. <laughs> you thinking? Wow, what is this a mean response? <laughs> yeah? You don't really think I'm dumb, do you? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Even if Scott apologizes, do you think he'd actually feel sorry for what he did? <laughs> nah, it's more he's just honoring a bet. Whether it's apologizing or squealing like a pig, I doubt he'd do it willingly. Mm. Exactly! He just wants to show off! Which is why he picked Arum Alley as the venue! You're right. Even though I'm not a fan, I'll help you figure something out. Why don't you fill her in on what happened at Arum Alley earlier? Sure. Uh, it's a bit of anger. If okay. being a workaholic were a disease, Scott would be in the ICU. It's okay to enjoy your work, but causing trouble in society is another story. What's a what is ICU referencing? I'm not sure. I don't have suggestions, only an opinion. And that is. He's a hopeless workaholic. He's more than a he's Come on, March. Idiot. Let's go find him. Uh-huh. Wait, find what? Oh, we just go to the lure, I guess. Uh... Well, well, if it isn't our hero, March 7th. Who do we have here with you? Before you start the fight, I have a few words for you. Huh? Who do you think you are? Is it like a Sienjo thing to just show up uninvited? It's okay if you don't know who I am. Introduce me to him. <laughs> this is really up to the Dynasty Core. <laughs> yep. You're welcome to check out my credentials in the Divination Commission. <laughs> What's so special about being a diviner from the Divination Commission? I'm a specialist at the Interastral Peace Corporation. Tell me, what makes you think you're so great? Do you have more minions than me? Or do you earn more credits? You may not be young, but your mindset is still that of a fresh-faced newbie who spends all their time on work while proudly proclaiming to love their job. You! Shut up, you! In my opinion, you enjoy playing the role of a joker, spouting off outrageous opinions just to seem objective and indifferent whenever you feel like it. Enough! Shut up! What do you know about me? Don't act like you know everything! Wow. You really got under Scott's skin with just a few words. Well, you almost got me. I'm here to... Have a duel, not to debate with you. 
Oh, really? Yeah, Scott couldn't come up with a comeback. Uh, that's the spirit. Strike while the iron is hot. Wait, do we have to do negotiation stuff now? You already did it to get. Oh, I don't know. We're gonna do that again. <sighs> All right. Let me ask you something. Do you consider the IPC to be your family? I was an agent on the central by the IPC. Why is the recruitment as part of the IPC's broadcast? Was there suppressed dissatisfaction and resentment for cooperation? The best good area consists of your authority and benefit support by the IPC. Don't let them take advantage of the train and go the others. Of course I do! I, I I have so many amazing colleagues there! Have you seen our structure? The talent motivation department makes everything feel even better than family! I heard someone went through 17 rounds of interviews just to become a basic P-13 employee. What about your own efforts? <laughs> 17 rounds? That's insane! If I hadn't joined the IPC already... Think about it. Is the entrance to your own home that hard to get through? I heard even the lowest ranking Pierpoint folks feel proud of the IPC's success and wealth. But when you really think about it, how much does the IPC's success and wealth have to do with you? Of course it has something to do with me! Then tell me, which of the IPC's achievements can you personally take credit for? I was involved in the Alroom Alley investment project. And right now, I'm in charge of these transport ships. They may not seem like big things, but uh, they can't be done without me. Hmm. Uh, I'm not really sure what I should go for already. Something to say, just say it. Mm. Funny thing is, our room alley has actually been doing better since you left. As for those transport ships, do you really think no one else can handle it? I I just got unlucky with that project. If the IPC had listened to me, it would have been a massive success. And the shipping and transportation stuff. It, it's just impossible without me. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I've heard that the IPC's annual turnover is even higher than the total population of the capital of Passion. Even without you, they'd find other Scots to get the job done. Do you find it hard to fall asleep without scrolling through your phone? Do you hit the snooze button every morning? Do you feel useless at work hearing your bosses complaining about your incompetence? It, it, enough! Stop it! When you actually think about your life outside of work, only one word pops into your head, doesn't it? Overtime! <laughs> Please, just stop it! Please! You know, based on my work philosophy, I don't want to say you're not important. In fact, I'd say you are important. 
As an employee, you should take pride in living a good life for yourself. Not just work. But I... I don't have a life of my own. Right, yeah, we already know that. Uh... Scott, have you ever thought about slowing down and exploring things like tea and tea culture? It could be a new hobby and a whole new way of life for you. <laughs> Good response. But I... I'm not interested in tea. It's important to learn to enjoy the simple pleasures in life. You might discover a new interest if you just give it a try. You consider yourself superior to others. You have no time for your own life. You lack empathy. You're always worried about being looked down upon. And your self-esteem stems from the status the IPC gives you. Do you really want to live like this forever? <laughs> That's so mean! <laughs> Just an ordinary person struggling, trying to survive. Don't you feel a twinge of guilt seeing nasty stuff like that? Of course hey, I we? do. Because I'm just an ordinary person too. Now, Scott, welcome back to the world of ordinary people. Meng Ming, the owner of the Sleepless Earl, went to great efforts to set up her shop. All so that workers like us can catch a break and find some joy in our lives. What makes you so different from her? How would you feel if you worked so hard to create something, only to have your boss wreck it and overwhelm you with unreasonable demands? Oh, we were intending to defeat you in a duel and make you apologize to her. But now we see that won't work. I see. I'll make a genuine, heartfelt apology to her. Enough. I understand. We don't need to carry on with this sword fight. I'm going to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. And to everyone fully living their lives. Hmm. Yeah, we've got to forget squealing like a pig, so please do. Uh, drop it! Scott is in the midst of introspection. Thank you, Miss March. You really are a hero. Also, thank you for the follow, Akanea, and welcome to the chat. My day is doing... yeah, my day is doing fine. Nothing too special in a streaming journey. Well, fun, yet slow, but hey, still fun. And that's the... that's how it should be. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to be happy. I'll have some tea, read the paper. Explore the universe. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to apologize to the owner. Thanks. You've given me a lot to think about. As for this lousy job at the IPC, well, it's uh, it's time for some serious contemplation. Just don't get on Catch you later. again. Not every day I do take like. Uh, uh. I'm breaks. so tired. Haven't felt this exhausted in ages. You Even guys better treat me to day. something nice, March. Like whenever I'm not like feeling that much like streaming. But I do at least try to do like at least four to like three to four times a week. Well, I really feel like doing more than I also do more, but yeah. But the thing is, I'm not only streaming on Twitch, so. I'm actually streaming on YouTube more often than I do on Twitch. <laughs> of course! Thank you, Master Chingchua! 
The reunion is concluded. Hitmaster in pursuit for Lotus so Blaze shall still continue. Yep, we still gotta continue on with the event. So still got like two more endings to go, I think. If I remember correctly. Uh, I started like almost about almost a year ago now, so yeah. I'm getting close to the one year mark. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I kind of want a milk tea. Let's go get one after training. Uh, I'll check the on rewards. <sighs> Finally, some recognition for training my butt off. And let's look at some more limited time rewards. Wait, more upgrade materials for my Yunli. Let me check my progress on my Yunli. Uh, where is she? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, also a little more of these. Da, da, da. Let me actually grab them. Oh. Did I get any achievement? Um. Yeah, claim. Thank you. I'm gonna take those. Uh, I don't have a Discord server yet, so... Nope. <laughs> but you can check... Oh, wait. Uh, can check out my stuff there. Uh, so this is quicker for, like, going through my news. There's also another red menu. Uh, I've got a lot of these. Uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. I forget if it says another thing. Um. Sweet. Getting close to the, to the A point, and I think I'll also stop with Lingli there because I don't want to lose compa the compass on her yet. I'm safe as far as the carry does. Okay, let's do like the Someone next one. Someone stopped me on the road earlier. They said I was a one in a million super talented martial arts genius. Hmm. <laughs> What would Charger be focusing on? Good question, really. Ooh. In an artistry. Huh. I would try to go for this. Damn it. Will be... Not sure if Charger would be going for strength. Under my belt. I gotta find time to try it out. We'll see. I would go for some strength. Wonder what I'll run into today. Dumb bad. 
Which are the guests from the Astro Express? I assume. It is a blessed fate to have met you here. May I humbly introduce myself? I'm George, a healer from the Xianzhu uh, Yao Ching. How may I trust you? You've already met you, George. Sure, can you? I watched several events. For this one, he's already always coming up with something new. Might as well let him do the self introduction. So, meet you, I'm Tamamo. <sighs> You're certainly you're proper this time. I'm, I'm most of the time, I'm not usually going for the galactic baseball option, to be honest. It's getting old after a while. <laughs> for long heard of the many shenanigans of the X-Ray Express Nameless. This is Lady March 7th. This must be Tamamo. Uh, okay, it's just introductions we already had, so I kind of skipped a little bit. Those who seek the elixir of life retreat electric to attract sinisters like those with the cyber and spectacles. Hmm. Do I central miracle medicine? This is birth. This would just be like trying to get it from medicine world. I tried after I've been for all the hard work to make it. It would be a waste. Okay, so he wants to make an extra for us. Mm. Bye bye, Jojo. During a specific time, please arrange your training schedule accordingly. This section reduce strength and mood consumption. Ooh. Okay. We can do an excursion. Uh, ah, that's nice. Another step closer to star crazing glass great sword. Already gonna wish you good luck for when you wanna try it like starting stream. Let's do this. Uh, how should I go about this? Uh she gonna take the mood here. Good. So good, 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 let me more points. The next excursion here is just 100 and more with the excess mood being current too. Ooh. Should go for a bit of tenacity. I'll fight ten. Little more that match. That message there was an automatic from my board. <laughs> Wonder what I'll run into today. Uh, so an internal box for you. Okay, here's the elixir for us. Um, what is millennial ginseng source? 
for the kimchi ginseng from a kimchi pot should yend it and use vinegar ginger garlic and cheese or as condiments Ooh, that sounds nice and spicy Mm. <laughs> it's a good for nothing stomach. Uh, you have an, an easy media experience at the Aranchi School. Delicious. Also, I really love Jojo's why being a healer that heals through cooking. I just love it. She's a craze. Ah, another excursion. Uh, my name. Ooh. Okay. So what does the excursion do? Wait, it's plus six excursion just like for everything? All right. What was that again? For uh, second like tenacity. Let's do a bit of tenacity and then go for strength. Oh wait, I went for dexterity. My bad. Completely wrong skill. What do you recommend? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Dead. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Today, you'll face your. We already had a. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. Uh, uh, did I uh, really uh, just learn that? I guess I am pretty here. awesome after all. Got not enough strength for that. Good. Yeah, okay, we are far, we are better than than now the boss enemy. Just getting simpler and simpler every time. There's no real changes to it, really. Looks like I passed the test. Ba -da -ba -ba. It's action, excursion, energy, grand strength, and tenacity. Dexterity, security, and a bit more tenacity. I <laughs> did 
<laughs> hey, there, Jessica. And yeah. I also do like it that she's always saying like less cars after. I also like like her ultimate animation is just so funny and hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, I can completely understand. Um, I can't find the link shop works. I noticed if you're working about a healer's market, is there something you wish to buy? Told when I came to Argument Dimension, Mr. Zhao uh, of the Yao Jing mentioned that a Crimson Dragon was hidden in the Alchemy Commission. I mean, Ling Zhao looks like a Crimson Dragon, at least if it looked like it earns. Crimson Dragon, huh? Please spare no details. Uh, America looks that it can boost your skills that rescue Zhao as much after Crimson Dragon Blood really existed, would you really dare to drink it? Um, I mean, would you dare? Mm, this tastes like anyway, but I'm not drinking anything. I mean, I would try. Why not? <laughs> Just how for you, a brave soul who dares to enter, I do not. <laughs> This much reaction is quite adorable, so I'll be frank, the Crimson Dragon that Mr. Georgia mentioned does indeed exist. So, where's the Crimson Dragon, Master Langsha? The Crimson Dragon is nothing more than a guessing game concocted by Georgia. If I'm not wrong, then the item you seek far and wide is right before you. Oh, my guess with Flinksha was actually spot on. I probably does an answer to a guessing game, no? So what Mr. Jarja wanted me to find was Lady Slingshire's blood? I have practiced my skills across the universe and consumed myriad medicines over a century. So I do fit the description of a Grimson Dragon. If you really want to, I can absolutely give you some to you, Miss March. Wait, this almost sounds like uh Mau Mau. Of a powerful carry that I really threw, like put every kind of disease and toxin and such on, on herself. But it also is what makes medicines poisonous. You can't just be focused on the advantage of the medicine and ignore the dangers of its poison. The Crimson Dragon Blood is right here with me, so we have to contemplate this carefully, Miss March. But I'm quickly froze your glance of anxiety, hoping you will throw out some suggestions. To ask me, my brain is already at years old lead. Uh, no. Uh, she's already a creature you request. Go for it, I guess. But I don't thought that Master Lingsha would be the Crimson Dragon. Mr. Chowja even said before that when the Crimson Dragon spits blood, its life will return to the gloom. Master Lingsha does not have to take such a huge risk. Well, no, it's just a few drops. It won't cost me my life. As you're struggling to make a decision. How about this? You can tell me your choice the next time we meet. And I will summon the dog who came up with this rotten idea to come forward and explain himself to me. <laughs> okay, I already really like Georgia. Strength and dexterity. Uh, I feel like this will already almost be better. I would have to boost my excursion stuff though. This will do it. Wonderful. Funny she consumes all moon for every mood consumed if it's increased by seven percent. I really like this. 
Definitely want a bit more strength. Let's go for tenacity in the last one. I'm also gonna pick the right one this time. Uh, I mean, this is the only really, really the only one that's really worth it, I guess. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I guess so crumbly for that right. Uh, let's see. Like the perfect, like, time for your second test. I'll be your examiner, just like I wanted. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. Another new move under my belt. I gotta find time to try it out. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, I've also actually got a lot of the other stats. I'm already like way out of what I should be. He's actually doing a bit of damage, but yeah. So I'll just go for tenacity. Let's do this. Void. I learned so much today. Well done, me. Love for Crimson Blood Escapades. Crimson Dragon Blood Escapades. Hey Charger, you know what a crimson dragon you said is? The dating chest already sold me out. I also know how the matter roughly went. It's your fault for sp uh, spewing all that nonsense. I bet Master Lingsha reprimanded you harshly. Oh dear, it's all my fault. But reprimanding aside, Master Lingsha still asked me if you wanted the crimson dragon blood in the end. 
Let me ask it first. I've already fought it through. I don't need it. But I said Miss Marsh is, is training. She definitely need it, so she had me bring a bottle for you. Jojo shakes the glass bottle in front of you within containing about a 500 milliliters of crimson dragon blood. That's usually the normal amount you will do if you donate blood. Fitting. Uh, that much? Is Miss Ninja alright uh, up there? Really don't need it? I really don't need it. Mr. Yu, are you going to drink it? So, uh, questioning the hygiene issue. Bro. Um. Yeah, let me drink it. Yeah, I will call out the hygiene issue here. I checked, the blood is filled with germs and viruses. <sighs> Since the poor won't drink it, I should drink it with great reluctance. Wait, is he really drinking it? Chaozo, stop teasing the both of them. This spot just contains red sunset jewels, doesn't it? Was it actually such a strong sense of smell? I see it now. Is there some test that you two came up with to teach me some kind of lesson? You must understood us. I merely wish to see what adorable reaction you would have. <laughs> the, did not obtain anything? How could you say that, my smart? Think about the herbal cuisine you ate, you received to have a nice meal, a regular routine, and daily exercise. Finally, you achieved a healthy body. Huh? A well balanced diet and exercise are more effective than some unknown miracle elixir. In the miracle, the miracle elixir mutations and paralleled martial arts mastery, they are not so different at all. Just lazy tricks by the creators to package a way to reap what one has not sown. Please do not fall for such parlor tricks. True. But is there really no miracle elix in this world? <laughs> do you remember the legend of the plague's offer leaving behind the fruit of longevity? There are miracle elixirs in this world and they've long had price tags on them, but I'm afraid we will never be able to afford them. I remember this, but Mr. George, I have a question. If you simply wanted to treat us a herbal feast, why couldn't I tell the two masters about it? It was simply a psychological suggestion. Did you feel that the medicine was more affected out of what I said, Miss March? Huh. Interesting. You know too many shams for a healer. Ah. Miss March just got tricked again. So it's just a placebo effect. I really thought Mr. George had some deeper, dark secret. Please don't worry, Miss March. If you need help defeating Scott, please feel free to look for me at the Alchemy Commission. I will definitely help you out. When time comes, if you also require my help, I shall do so, Miss March. I says thank you both, Mr. Mar George, Master Langer. Increase the of excursion. No, I don't really need that. Uh, ooh. Yes. I'm gonna take this. Oh, wait, I can select two. Hmm. I mean, you could really boost one of them hard. Uh, Sure. We're stupid not to. Extern the acuity. Uh, let's go for acuity. Security. <laughs> I learned so much today. Bam, well bam, done, bam. me. Refer find affection increase consumption increase. Uh, 
sure. Um, capacity. Ooh. Ooh, really sweet. I only need like one more synchronicity so I can just like go for this. Out. Sure. Jeez, I'm exhausted. Uh, I think today should be a rest day. There you go. Uh, how should I go about this? Mm. Wonderful. There's this would like be wasted. I wonder if we can like get perfect Before we start on like the, test. the last There's... on the last run. The final test. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, come on, March seventh. You got bam, this. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Yeah. Quite nice. Yeah. Let's watch our steam roll, I guess. Team roll indeed. <laughs> the fuck? Awesome. He's not. He didn't even. Almost did not get one attack. <laughs> what the hell? Exhilarating. Oh yes, yeah, praises this time around though. Yeah. All right. We're gonna accept that. Sword, heed me. Evil. Oh, I get it. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch yeah. Also, like your normal attacks are barely doing any damage. It's like all of the special skills from the event. The normal stuff is barely doing any damage, really. Compared to the rest. Awesome. Now watch this. Come get me. Uh, kind of silly. You're all in on it. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this. I fail. At least a good finisher. <laughs> Not bad. You've made it this far, Miss March. You. So now, let's see what shenanigans we can cook up with Shalja. <laughs> let's do it. I already have an idea. I remember Yen Qing. Do you feel any closer? We don't always yes, need to repeat that. 
Wait, where's Charger? Ooh, Baidu is also here. Interesting. Pills that can instantly unlock my uh, meridians, boost my cultivation, and make me a super strong hero. You know, the kind where you just pop one and instantly become an invincible sword master. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> I just I was saying this many or something. Yeah, true. Uh, hey, uh, don't say something like that in front of these healers. I don't want to end up in some realm keeping commission court. Well, even though it's a risky idea, I'm glad you're finally willing to do whatever it takes to win, Miss March. Uh, hey, that's actually a compliment I don't want to hear. <laughs> we don't have any convenient pills like that. But if you just need a temporary boost for the duel, we might be able to figure something out. I've made a bowl of Matsutake Longan white bamboo sparrow soup for you, Miss March. It's nourishing and will give you a good energy boost. Matsutake Longan white bamboo sparrow soup. I mean, I know what Matsutake mushrooms are in bamboo shoes. I'm guessing are in this. Not sure what the Longan and sparrow are referring to, though. I haven't checked my Twitter yet since I'm streaming, so... I'm not checking my socials while I'm streaming. Uh, okay, is we good to drink a liquid four fight? I mean, yeah. I was up too. Yeah, I definitely want to try that. Hey now! This tonic is very potent! If you don't engage in any intense physical activity, it might do more harm than good. Can I drink half now and save the other half for later? Just in case Scott beats me, I can use it to recover. <laughs> sure. Are you really that lacking in confidence, Marge? Uh, I was actually looking forward to tripling the fee when the IPC guys came in for treatment. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Those IPC mechs pack a huge punch. <sighs> if it's just pain you're afraid of, I might have a solution. Here, this medicine is named Yabra. A tiny dose can numb the body senses and alleviate any sensation of pain. And you've already heard of that before. And I also don't, don't still do not like that. It just sounds like someone saying Yabra. <laughs> so stupid. Actually. Some of the Cloud Knights use pellets which contain trace amounts of this ingredient. When you block pain on the battlefield, you have a better chance of beating your opponent and surviving. Whoa, sounds incredible! But are there any side effects? No, not at all. We use it for surgeries in the Alchemy Commission. So what kind of side effects could it possibly have? It's just... Uh... Just what? Yeah, but well, just well, what? Well, the thing is, pain is your body's way of warning you something is wrong. If you ignore it and push through, you might end up with some serious injuries without even realizing it. I had a patient who took some before a fight, only to realize that afterwards, his lower body was missing. Uh, okay, um, yeah, I'm not taking any medicine. I'll just tough it out. Yeah, um, We're all yeah. brainstorming ideas. Why are you so quiet, Dr. Daochio? Dr. Daochio? Daochio! Marge is about to face off with Scott! What are you doing? I also like how, like, every character is spelling his, like, spelling his name slightly differently. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, like, stick to Chowder because this is, like, what I, like, understand it to be spelling. Spell out the most, like pronounced, not spelled. Pronounced. But yeah, ch pronouncing Chinese names. At least if you're not like 
Um, yeah, if you're not like acquainted with Chinese or like Mandarin in this case. Yeah. <laughs> not so easy. Oh, sorry. I heard March was planning to use some medicine against Scott, so I made some preparations. Well, it seems you're struggling to think outside the box. Sometimes weakening your opponent is just as effective as improving your own combat skills. It's all about innovation. Oh, wait, could it be that the Yao Qing people have some secret formula that could help me? Exactly. This is the closely guarded secret of the Yao Qing's Rancha school. If it weren't for Miss March's upcoming battle, I would never divulge it. Wait, do you plan on slipping Scott a laxative? <laughs> How did you figure that out? <sighs> Looks like I'm too predictable. You're already gonna make him poop with himself in front of us? Is that what he's trying to do? How despicable, Doc Despicable. All right. What you call despicable, I call efficient. Well, Dr. Chaocho, are we really doing this? Shouldn't we defeat him in a more honorable way? Uh, maybe we should just completely forget about this idea. Huh? You don't agree with my methods? Mm, but it's already too late. Moza has already taken care of things. <laughs> Wait, so while you seem to be playing with your phone, you were actually arranging things with Moza? Are all Yao Qing people as quick as you? Also, how do they suddenly know about Moza when in like the side story quest? They just reintroduce each other with Jaoja, but hey. All right, it's time for the duel. Just go fight that Scott guy. I've got something else to do, so I'll be off. But he ran away. Uh, what should I do now? What's done is done, March. We just have to keep moving forward. Rest assured, we will come to Scott's aid if needed. Let's hope he's all right. Let's go. All right, let's deal with Scott in one different way again. Let's see what I gotta do this time around. Ah, March 7th. You finally decided to show up. Bet you don't know how incredibly unpopular you are here in our room alley. <sighs> unpopular? What are you talking about? Who in our room alley wouldn't like a cheerful and adorable young lady like me? <laughs> oh, I've caught wind of the gossip. They're just scared of Yang Ching and Yun Li's power, so they don't have the guts to speak up. Guess what? A brave soul approached me in secret earlier. Encouraging me to defeat you and seek revenge for all the people in our room alley. This must have been Moza. And you know what else? He gave me and the guys a big pot of his special medicinal soup to drink so we can come at you with triple the energy. Uh, <laughs> well, they do sound like a brave soul. Mm. So did you guys take it all? I'm not gonna spoil Of course we did. That soup was surprisingly delicious. Who'd have thought, in a cold and indifferent place like the Law Fu, we'd find something so heartwarming? All right, enough talking. Let's go, boys. That delicious medicinal soup will give us the strength to win. Uh, don't push yourself too hard. Uh, just leave if you can't handle it. Spare me your fake concern. <laughs> Are we actually fighting? Hello. My stomach hurts. What's happening? Oh, mine hurts too. Could it be that something was wrong with that too? Oh, Are we actually like converting? Hold on, boy. Let's defeat this little brat first. 
I'm not doing much any damage though. Okay, they're just immediately dying on Bon Henry. This was strategy well, but could just let it do all the play. It was bypassed though. I lost. I am defeated. You fight too dirty, March 7th. You are truly despicable. Uh. Oh, you'd better go to the bathroom. No. I don't need to go to the bathroom anymore. Yeah. Ooh. Too much information. <coughs> uh, about screening and uh, get let's part. just uh, forget about that part. He's already in such a uh, sorry state. Yeah. So, I feel like this was queer like a pig. I have one last thing to say, March seventh. Fine. Give me a piece of your mind if you want. I admit it. I was kind of out of line. You've earned my respect. Of course I would say that. Wait, what? Mark Seven, <laughs> you're the first person I've ever known who's just as despicable, cruel, and as heartless as me. But this time, you outdid yourself. Being even more vile, more ruthless, and more unscrupulous than ever. I accept my defeat. Maybe we'll actually become real friends someday. If you want to come and work for the IPC, I'll gladly write you a recommendation letter. Yeah, no beast go, thanks. Your compliments make me so mad. Can I give him another beating while he's down? Go for it. I would say go, go for, for it. it. I uh, <laughs> don't have the strength to fight back anyway. Thing on top of ICT, finally is a coming to uncontainable sorrow escapes from the corner of the man's eye. Ah, uh, forget it. I don't kick people when they're down, even if they annoy me. Guys, fellas, anyone else who could still move? Help me! <laughs> Good reaction, though. Miss March, maybe we should try something more honorable next time. This it was George, uh, not me. It was all that pink haired fox acting on his own. <laughs> all I did was, well, kind of engage in free form sword fighting. Oh, they did say you pink haired fox, so it was not me. I'm not responsible. Nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. It is a funny ending. And they do like Jojo, so. Yeah. Master Last Yen ending. Shi? Master Yun Li, you're teaching rocks. Oh, shame my body can't keep up with my brain. Spirit is ex magina. Hmm. And you already start with like 200 stats. Yeah, okay. Why not? Uh, I guess I'm gonna just go with one in each category. An infectious virus. It's out I never know. I'm not on any script or mission. I suggest you pretend to not have seen me. Well, you can't say we are still on a script. On the developer script, but eh. This is the serious will never be here. I'm player at the game in person. It's nothing to do with you. Where's the, the Gongshu suddenly here? Using the signs to acknowledge my presence. <laughs> Talking about a fear room, but playing a fear room was all right. I beat Silver Wolf though, so I'm like the expert player of it. Just uh, talking about nothing interesting right now. Except for a photographic projection in Master Kush, I've left. I doubt it's really a holographic uh, um, projection, but hey. This is perfect, but it was only valid on specific. Okay. Blend activities are all different. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, all actions today to increase strength. But, uh, I mean, I guess I'll just go for that and see how that works. I have to do like different activities. Uh, okay. Oh, I must end. Hmm. What do you recommend? Hmm. Let's get the acuity. Good. Only plan for training. Uh, it will cool my mood stuff, so... Hmm. 
recover me. I can recover me. I can recover me. I'm going to start skipping class. Enough training for today. This is fine. Mm. <laughs> Do we really care much for the game is here wanna play? I just I, I kind of want to see what shenanigans we will cook up against Scott. Oh, it really is a holographic projection of the trust managers. Okay. Version. I do want one excursion. I'm just no gonna take flame the penalty. I'm just take the penalty. Get a penalty if I take the mood. Huh? I really like whatever knows this. I mean, I take it. Today, you'll face your first test. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, easy. Strength training. <sighs> I was just getting like bless two and everything. It looks like.
Not sure what I've been trying to do right now. Marsh get possessed by the rheumatoid. I mean, I could do both of these. Bam. Let's do this. Uh, how should I go about this? Huh? Ooh. Oh, look at like double. Really nice. Uh, could be identical. Gonna boost dexterity a lot. Bam. Excursion, the next if you start. keep upping the training, I'm gonna start skipping class. Uh, how should I go about this? Ooh. Oh. I was going to shoot not get penalties for these two actually, which is good. Oh, that's enough training for today. I need time to absorb everything. Yeah, I think I'll be really easy to get 800 on time all of these stats. Test. Like really easily. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. But did I really just learn that? I guess I am pretty awesome after all. Yeah, this will. Yeah. That's what we use
I think you're taking a lot of damage right now, but uh, I think it will be fine. Awesome. Um, I mean, two strength and acuity, why not? That we should like eagerly get strength done, acuity should get close. I actually also got a QD though. Wonder what I'll run into today. Fearless easily. I must know if everything on the 800. Just do one excursion and go full dexterity. Because why not? I'll fight ten. The rest will just go up on its own anyway. Hmm. What do you uh, recommend? There you go. Nah. Can I'll get them like all to like a thousand? That would actually be nice. Um... 
I don't need that completed there they go. One excursion, dexterity, and then let's boost in SLE once more. I would have liked to get it on like it's, it's an SLT but I At this point, it doesn't even matter anyway. Give me some tenacity. Hmm. What do you recommend? Or not? Nah. I learned so much today. Thirty nil thousand on everything, but I. Uh, before we start the final test I'm a little nervous <laughs> oh, come on March 7th you got this there you go already mixed everything let's see Jiangjing a lesson Ridiculous damage. Awesome. I just was wondering, is he getting like, gonna get a tag in? But yeah, looks like he is. This is just me. You're all in on it. Not very sportsmanlike. Awesome. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card. What's this? Yeah, it was kind of expected that the sports are not going to live long. Punish evil. Oh, I get it. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Lesnar. Really yeah. long. This is just getting spammed. Let's go with Silver Wolf. <laughs> Let's do it. I remember Yench. Do you feel any close? Ah, oh, yes, absolutely. Hello, Silver Wolf. What do you have I'm for us? I'm going up against Scott soon. I'm 
so nervous. Nervous about what? Dealing with a few IPC minions is just a walk in the park. Oh, but Scott will definitely use the IPC's mechs. There's no way I can take them down with just a couple of swords, right? Mm. Wouldn't be a problem for the can handle them for sure. But isn't it asking too much of a poor little rookie like me? Why focus on piercing the armor? For hackers, the ideal way to win is to infiltrate the opponent's system. Here, give me your sword. Wait, what is she doing with a sword? Man? All right, you've been enhanced. Go for it. Mm. No, when it comes to programming, less is more. Overdoing it increases the chance of creating errors. True. So I can defeat him just like that? Yeah, there's a Sanjo proverb for such an occasion. Know yourself and know your enemy, and you'll never have to sleep in the doghouse. You made up the second half, didn't you? <laughs> what do you know? Probably. Just let sleeping dogs lie. Anyway, now's not the time for discussing Sanjo sayings. You've got bigger fish to fry. Go and show Scott what you're made of. Will do. Oops. Got in here again. March 7th, you're late. Here I was thinking you were too chicken to show your face. I was thinking I might have to track you down and settle the score. Too chicken? I was giving you the chance to back out. But you're actually insulting me now, you cheeky. Mm. Yeah, what's the rush? Good shit. I hope your actions are as strong as that mouth of yours. I wonder what Silver Wolf did to my sword. Can I really defeat Scott? Don't worry, dear Miss March. Rest assured, we will win. Whoa! Uh, my sword is talking. Greetings, Miss March 7. I am the Tactical AI Chrome, parentheses, learning edition, close parentheses. I'm My paid correct version. is to aid you in <laughs> overcoming adversaries. <laughs> I like that little context there saying instead of learning edition, the unpaid correct version. <laughs> nice nod there. No. Silver Wolf is not amazing at all. When Silver Wolf installed me into your sword, her terrible wielding skills actually reduced the sword's impact resistance by 12%. But please, don't worry. I'll help you secure the victory because I actually am amazing. Uh, how exactly are you going to defeat him? Silver Wolf has told me, know yourself and know your enemy, and you'll never have to sleep in the doghouse. What does this have to do the with The moment you? your sword touches the enemy mechs, I will upload a small virus onto their operating systems. So go ahead, strike your opponents with your sword. Did I just hear her sword talking? Are my ears playing tricks on me? Uh, hey, take this! Did it work? Before much time could even assume his whole stance from the tech that I know and has already flown out, homing in on the IPC smack like a cruise missile and launched itself into the wider point. Operating system. Reloading. Program failure detected. What's happening? My mech! What did you do to my mech, March? I... I don't know. 
Higher authority command recognized. Entering combat mode. Now it is time to fight, dear Miss March. Oh no! Boys, they've taken control of our mechs! Get ready for battle! Miss March, I'm begging you! These mechs are cheap! Please! Are you don't actually break fighting us a mech? Sure thing. Provided you do not fight back, the mechs will remain undamaged. Whoa, I like this. Cyber sword play is amazing. Easy. Specialist Scott, they're controlling our mechs. There's no way we can defeat them. <laughs> if we fought fair and square, you might call this a sparring session. But March 7th, your actions today have blatantly crossed the last line of the law. You injected a virus into the IPC mechs and took control. That's an infringement of the IPC's intellectual property and assets. I'd be more concerned about yourself, Scott. Why were you storing your private data on an IPC computer? <laughs> private data? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> No idea, huh? I noticed you paid a hefty sum for the end-of-life data deletion service, so I'm guessing there must be something worth seeing. You, 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 stop! Stop right there! That's private! Who told you you can invade my privacy? Just stop it! What were the terms again, March? Scott! You need to immediately apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. You'll need to shout, IPC mechs are a total joke, and print that on every mech on your transport ship. Oh yeah, almost forgot. You have to squeal like a pig. That's pretty much the same as barking like a dog, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's already barked like a dog. Players are bored of it. Let's come up with something new. How about singing the soul glad jingle, but with a pig squeal? I like that. How much did soul glad pay Sam you? Sam has been humming that blasted song every day since coming back from Penacony. It's all I can hear. Fine, you've got Aww, me. I want to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. It's my fault for causing trouble and making a scene on purpose. And then, uh, 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 just wait a second, uh, oh, how did that stupid song go? Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> and I like your top five flyers, like, actually, or, like, apparently, like, still humming, like, the pedagogy stuff and such. That's good. IPC Max are a total joke! Oink, 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 oink! Oink, 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 oink. Okay, I like this. Oink, 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 oink. He actually sang it twice. Talk about being committed to providing a service. Specialist Scott, I found something. This woman, she's a Stellaron hunter. You only notice that now? What? No wonder she was able to effortlessly hack into our systems. Oops, you caught me. <laughs> Since my cover's blown, it looks like I'll have to resort to social obliteration to keep you quiet. <laughs> <laughs> the overbearing mech falls in love with me? <laughs> Romance of the inorganic empire? <laughs> wow, your taste in entertainment is really unique. I'm sorry, I, uh, I'll be on my way. This is like a reference to like the intelligent wife we have we seen with tails. I go for the tail. But, but boss, why don't we take this chance to catch her and claim the reward? Because you can catch her. Because if you don't leave now, you'll be socially obliterated too! Hold on a sec. Before you leave, let me give you a piece of advice. W what? You should have faith in cloud technology. 
You just don't huh. get it! Humanity will never feel secure by putting all their faith in an ever-changing network! <laughs> well, this victory has nothing to do with swordplay and everything to do with the power of technology. Morja... Would you more just about like Civil Wolf doing Civil Wolf things as usual? Uh, yeah. Yeah, as usual. I've learned another Sanjo saying Though my hands are empty, my heart wields a blade. Uh, okay. The reads brief interlude has concluded. Yet Marta mm -hmm. in pursuit of the art of sword play shall continue. No, we're actually done with the event. So you don't really need to do anything else with her. Mr. Tail sometime? <laughs> Unity still eating her... Uh, ...tango? Yeah. Hey, this little one is getting cheeky! Now you're being sarcastic with me, huh? <laughs> what are you writing, March? I'm writing a letter to the Astral Express. It's been a while, and I thought I should let them know that I'm safe and sound here. You know that poem from the Sienjo, right? We like March. Her shoes are purple. She is new and high. March, I don't think that poem is about you. Yeah. Also sounds like a bit of a weird poem, but okay. Huh? Writing a letter just to let the crew know you're doing all right? Do you guys not have phones? Hey, the Hopi Star. Welcome to chat. That I'm not fine. a sense of propriety. I'm not just writing a letter, I'm writing a handwritten letter. I've got to show them I'm really on the Sienjo. You should also tell them about our glorious victory. <laughs> Give work to watch you write a letter. Come on, let's play Celestial Jade together. Hurry up, hurry up! Just give me a sec. I'll play with you once I'm done. Uh, dear Himeko, Mr. Yang, and Pom Pom, we're all good here on the Sienjo La Fu, so no need to worry. By the way, how's your trip going? My stream is going fine. I also, I also still can't unhear that George still has like set of voice. I kind of hear it, and I always have like that his face in front of me, and it's not fitting. <laughs> Yay! You went done. Wait, this is probably the Yun. Yeah, this is the Yunli companion quest. Yeah, I'm gonna save that for another time. I'm not gonna do that today. It won the Eva expansion? Yeah. I didn't get all of the Eva spurs on the expansion ships for Fear Wars? Why is that a question mark, Wolfie? <laughs> Why are you questioning the pretty appearance of me? Huh? Huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I still don't quite get it why you question it, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, did I get like the Eidolon reward? No, I did not get it yet. Uh, Also, I do wonder, where are we getting the other three Eidolons from? Mm. 
Yes, my mother is full body. Yeah. I got more than just like a head and a torso. <laughs> I also got a nice mask I can put on. Great. I did commission it. My drawing skills are by far not as good. <laughs> I do dabble in like drawing like simple stuff here and there, but I'm definitely not as good in like drawing like a full YouTuber model now. I'm not that scared. <laughs> Recognition for training my butt off. Mm. Mm, no, not really. I did. Tr I did try like making um, like a pixel art emote just for fun. Uh, just to try it out for a bit. But yeah. Um, what do I want? Wait, yeah. I wanted to... Send his eyes. Apparently... Why do I have so many tracks of destiny? Where did I recently get got so many from? Huh. I mean, I'm not complaining. Okay. But yeah, I'm not gonna use these tracks on your lane. I'm gonna save them. So if that actually my unit should be done. Yeah. Except for that I not have, do not have any add-ons for her, but yeah, I'm not gonna go for those. Um. And yeah, I'm already also working on Georgia. I don't have so many of these. I though. hope that with this, I can help more people live better lives. I don't have like a Discord server yet, and um, as long as I don't have a Discord server, I'm also not giving away my Discord profile. So yeah. Um, uh, if like wanna find my stuff. Mm. All right. Well, I think I also actually ended here for the day. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. And we also learned like three hours already, so. As I said, I'm not giving that away. Uh. Let's see, is anyone alive to read? Uh, I really gotta look. Let's see if we can find someone real quick in like this star uh, category. Uh, Mm 
Yeah. Let's just go with just a long one then. I don't want that. Thank you very much. Just want the name. Uh, up. Uh, up. Yeah, don't annoy me with that knock feature, Twitch. Uh, I'm not really m much of a fan of that feature, to be honest. But hey. But hey. Can't really use it anyway, so save. <laughs> uh, dum -dum -dum. So, there we go. Find it another raid. And with that being said, same as always, I hope you like watching along. And you know what? Going through this bit of like more of a comedic event again, but hey. And yeah. We also still like gotta do like the Unly Companion quest next time around. And please stop begging for fee. I did say I'm not giving that out, so hey. Um Yeah. We're gonna take care of the companion quest next time. Maybe also do like some other kind of stuff because I still like got some maps and stuff to explore still. Yeah. How oh, we will see me each other next time, and be nice over in the raid. Spread some love. And we will see each other next time. Until then, bye bye.